Hello and welcome back. So this video is going to be a, a hands-on tutorial with Star UML, which is a software to create UML diagrams. Uh, once again, I'm going to skip the installation, but it's fairly simple and I'm going to add the link in the description below. So uh, let's get started with Star UML. I have it open here and it gives us a lot of options. So to create a class, I just select class from here and I click anywhere on my screen and it creates the class. So let me name this class vehicle. And uh, after that, if I double click again, I have an add attribute button here. So let me add an attribute. I'll add an attribute called position. This is going to be an int. I'm just considering one dimensional motion here. And this button right here is for the visibility or the access specifier as we call it. So I'm going to make this private and I'm going to add another attribute, which is uh, speed, which is an int again. And as you can see, there's a plus sign here. So I'm going to make this private too and the plus sign change to a minus sign. And if I double click on the class, I've also got an add operation button so methods are, are called operations here so i do add operation and let me have an operation called move forward which takes an integer called steps and it returns nothing so it's a void uh, method so in case of void methods we don't really need to mention the return type after a colon so I'm going to add another um, operation. So this will be move backward and this will again take steps as an integer. So uh, this is it for my vehicle class. And now I need subclasses for this vehicle class. So what I could do is double click on the class and I've got a button here for add subclass. I could select that and that creates a subclass here. Let me name this one car and um, let me add an attribute here. So my attribute would be uh, fuel capacity, which is an integer and another attribute, uh, which is fuel, the current fuel in the car. So that will be an integer again. And uh, I'm going to make both of these uh, private so another thing that I want you to take a look at is the properties panel here and from this properties panel I could do something like make an attribute static so if I select a static here it underlines uh, the attribute and it would do the same for methods as well so I don't need this to be static right now and I could also change the visibility from here so if I'll make this private and I could change the type and um, I think that's all we need to worry about right now. So this is my uh, car class and I'll just add I'll just add an operation which is fuel fill fuel and this will take the amount or the fuel as an integer the amount of fuel to fill and this will again be a void uh, operation so i'll just leave it as it is and another way to add a subclass to this vehicle class is creating the class itself so i'll create a class called uh, bicycle and i'll give this an attribute so my attribute would be gear int and this would be private again and I'll also add an operation which is uh, increase gear and in this I'll just uh, increase the gear by one and I'll add another operation which is decrease gear and both of these would be uh, public I guess and next what I need to do is select the generalization option from here so as I said inheritance is also called generalization so this is the relationship between the bicycle and vehicle class is going to be a generalization uh, relation so i select generalization 
and remember that we need to uh, drag from the uh, subclass to the parent class so i'm going to click on bicycle and then drag to my vehicle class and that creates uh, a generalization association and uh, i could also give the uh, the inheritance a name so a bicycle is a vehicle so that's the name that i've given to this uh, generalization relation and we've got a lot of other options here too i've got an interface i can create an interface now what an interface is we'll be talking later in the series and i could also select a class and from the properties panel make it abstract so i think i mentioned abstract classes in the uh, theory session but we haven't looked at what exactly abstract classes are so i don't need vehicle to be abstract so i'm going to keep this unchecked and um, i have a dependency relation here and i've got an association an association between classes is just uh, a very general relation so i could have something like a person class and uh, i could have something like a company class and these could be associated to each other so uh, this association could be named works in a person works in although this association is bi bidirectional so works in is not a very good name for it but if i select this arrow right here i get the properties of the arrow as well and i could give give each end a name so end one name could be something like uh, employee and uh, i've also got something called an n1 multiplicity so multiplicity refers to how many of this class can be associated with the company class so let's just say i enter star here star basically means uh, any number which could be zero as well and i could give n2 a name and the name could be employer and the multiplicity let's just say that a person can only work for one company so i give it a one so the multiplicity appears here uh, we could also add uh, the name and multiplicity by double click on double clicking on this dot so this is the name and this is the multiplicity and um, aggregation and composition are just uh, specializations of the association relation so there's also something called a directed association and we're going to be uh, talking about all of these in i think the next video or the one after that so let me just get rid of these uh, let me just get rid of these and uh, there are some rules that i want to mention here so uh, in case we want a constructor for the vehicle class so uh, the proper way to add constructors is to add an operation and name it vehicle and uh, after that i should select the constructor and go to uh, properties and stereotype and i should add constructor here and that's how i add, add a constructor and uh, so in case uh, another rule that I want to mention is that uh, we do not mention the uh, inherited uh, methods so I don't mention the inherited methods in the car class like move forward and move backward uh, unless I want to override it in case I want to override it I would uh, add them here add those operations here and uh, right so uh, star uml also has an extension manager and from the extension manager i could uh, get a java extension for star uml so this one is the java extension and i've already got it installed installed but if you don't you'll have to install this as well so what the java extension does is uh, it's really amazing it actually lets us generate uh, a basic uh, template java code for uh, this diagram that i've drawn so i need to go into tools java and generate code and i'll select model here 
and OK. And this is the location where I want the code to be generated. And I'll just leave this to tutorials. Uh, so I select folder and now I've got the model in the tutorials directory. So I've got three classes which are on already generated for me. Let me open sublime text and in the model I can see a vehicle class with a lot of comments but I've already got a default constructor here and I've got uh, the position, the speed and Look at this it's already private int position it has taken care of all of that and we've got the methods here so i can uh, i already have the uh, method declared i just need to add the implementation here so that makes it really easy and notice one thing here that i define this as a constructor but this has a void written here so this has come up as a uh, as just another void operation so the thing here is that uh, the java extension manager does not generate constructors so we'll have to take care of that ourselves so i could get rid of this directly because i already have a default constructor here so that's another point to note that uh, the java extension manager already creates uh, a default constructor so i've got one here as well for the uh, car class and um, I could add something here but um, if I don't need a constructor I could just get rid of this or just leave it empty I don't think that should be a problem so I think that's it for the star UML tutorial and we could add all of these aggregation composition but uh, I'm not going to add any of those here. It's as simple as adding a dependency relation or a generalization relation. So uh, we'll just talk in the theory uh, session about what all of these are. But before that, the next video will be something will be about something that we kind of looked at, but I didn't really take the theory for it, which is uh, method overriding. So I hope to see you there.